Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Quantum Leap Morning uh, Leap Session for December the 12th, 2016. My name is Doug McKay. I'm the founder of Quantum Leap Futures. Each morning we get together in these live go-to sessions to take a look at the market macro to micro, take a look at the structure of the market, and then we drill down to our trade levels, our targets, and our hypotheses. We do create multiple hypotheses uh, in order to have a plan in place so that whatever the market throws at us, we have a plan to trade that market. This is a subscription room. If you're interested in checking it out, please send me an email at quantumleapfutures at gmail.com. There's no website. There's no blog. This is not a commercial venture. Uh, we are retail traders operating within a self-organized learning environment. Uh, please read through the disclaimer. Nobody at Quantum Leap is a certified trading advisor. Uh, Please trade your own due diligence, your own trade plan, and your own risk metrics. Any trades that you see in Quantum Leap are for education purposes only. Okay, so taking a look at the uh, news, of course, the big news this week is uh, this is Fed Week. And uh, there is a high probability that uh, we are going to see a... Uh, a rate increase with this move and trading at near all-time highs in the sentiment. I believe there's a 95% probability that they do raise rates versus a 5% that they don't. Um, in terms of news today, uh, we've got uh, not much on the board. We've got federal budget at 2 o'clock. That's about it. And the 10-year bond auction at, uh, at 1 p.m. Eastern. But that's about it. Tomorrow, uh, we have uh, import prices and 30-year bonds. But, of course, the big one will be on Wednesday. And Wednesday, we have, uh, uh, first of all, we've got the Bank of in England, which is still, uh, you know, we've got the Brexit uh, going on over there. Uh, we've got core retail sales and PPI retail sales, core PPI, uh, capacity utilization, industrial production, business inventories, crude inventories, and then the big one being uh, the uh, the FOMC statement. And this will be a, uh, a Fed conference as well. So Yellen will be uh, will be having a conference uh, 30 minutes after the uh, rate increase. And again, anticipating a uh, a rate increase here. It's pretty. Uh, I think it's pretty much only going to be how is the market going to react to it uh, and is the market going to see that as uh, no big deal and everything remains positive or whether or not we get a bit of a retrace. All right, so taking a look at the, uh, the macro to uh, the micro. You can see that uh, we've had this long upward uh, trend. We came back and challenged it at the beginning, at, in the end of 15, the beginning of 16, and then we've gone back into this huge trend. And since the limit down, since the limit down, uh, we have put in a high of 22.64.75, uh, which gives us a uh, move off of that limit down on election day of 236 and a quarter points. Uh, that's big, and that's and there hasn't been any significant retrace uh, in terms of this move afterwards. You can see this if we go to the weekly. You know, uh, just just absolutely since that limit down. Okay, there's the limit down uh, on the election night that week, and then since then our biggest pullback has been you know basically 29. Uh, and a quarter points, which is uh, is not much of anything when you're talking in weeks. Um, so you know we are we did just put in a new all-time high in the Globex at 226475. Uh, that means that we have an unequalized high between the Globex session and the ATH. Our uh, I'm sorry, our RTH. Our RTH high was put in on Friday at 22.55.75, and then Sunday night we opened up, and, uh, well, let's just take a look at Sunday night. Let's go to the uh, daily. You can see we've got a technical gap that we're creating here, a gap close and bring us back towards the 22.26, 22.27 area. Going to the uh, four-hour, you can see that we opened uh, this week at 22.47.75,
Is that correct? No, that's not correct. Sorry. I got to get to the right uh, time frame. Uh, our open of the week is uh, 22.55 uh, and a quarter. Um, but we went in and we put this new all-time high, came back and we're testing the uh, nine and bounced off the nine on the four hour. Going to the one hour, you can see that uh, we had this uh, FUBAR Mr. Sneaky and then we came back and, uh, and closed it out. This is actually our open right here of the week. This is pulling in the, uh, the uh, extended session on Friday. Our week open is the open of this bar right here, 22.55 and a quarter. And then we, you know, immediately we one tick down and then we rallied. This was a great move. Uh, I actually traded this. Uh, there was like, you know, uh, contracts above the liquid, uh, the liquidity above was incredible. There's like 500 and 700 and 400 all sitting, sitting above. So hopefully nobody tried to short that. And then we've come down and we're testing, uh, the, uh, nine and the 20, we're getting a, uh, a MA hug here, a decision point, And, uh, you know, coming into the sideways, if you look at this on the 30 minute, you know, we're going into a sideways uh, consolidation mode here. And there's a couple key points of structure that we need to uh, take a look at. But going down to the 15 minute, again, this is more, you can see consolidation with an upward, uh, uh, upward bias. Uh, and then going to the five minute, you know, it's basically uh, sideways consolidation. I do have a zipper measured move that uh, is valid right now, so I just want to talk about that. So uh, you guys are not uh, looking to the short side just yet. Uh, this is the impulse wave right here into this consolidation zone uh, from earlier on, and we've got our zipper. Our zipper primary target is 22.58 and a quarter. Our extended target is 22.60 and a quarter, and it's valid until we get below. 49.75. And this 49.75 is going to be key because it is also our value area high from uh, uh, from Friday. It's also our Globex low. So that 49.75 is key for another reason too. Is we've got the VPOC and what I consider to be the uh, the main target below us today uh, down at the Fridays. Uh, v pack pocket 47 and a quarter and you can see there's our value area high we've got an LVN just above it at 50 50 we've got a double distribution uh, overnight we had a uh, a b-shaped profile okay and b-shaped profiles are generally long liquidations okay there's your B and these are generally long liquidations. So I'm watching this, 50, uh, this 57 and a quarter above us and 49.75 below us. And this really uh, between them is really going to be difficult to trade because they're creating this, uh, this distribution around the VPOC overnight at 54.50. Um, so we've got we to gotta watch that. Let's just take one step back, take a look at the structure so that we have context. We, uh, we were in this balance zone for most of, the, uh, most of the year. Then we broke out and we created a new balance area above. Then we had our, uh, our limit down and, uh, you know, and then we gapped up and then we've run and we've had this powerful move. Uh, you know, up here where we've been in price discovery going into uh, new all-time highs. And you can see we do have an unequalized high, the RTH all-time high, put it in the uh, regular trading hours is 22.55 and a quarter. We've now broken that uh, in the Globex uh, almost immediately on the open uh, up to 22.64.75. So those two will be equalized, but I'm expecting more of a pause day today uh, and less of a continuation. This has been a pretty powerful move. Uh, this has been almost a 150-point uh, move, I'm sorry, a 50-point uh, move off of uh, this breakout. And we're liable to balance out here and, uh, and chop today. 
likely take out to 55 and a quarter, whether we get to the all-time high in the Globex at 2264.75 will depend on how much uh, you know uh, the buyers remain in control. But I'm watching that 49.75.50 area because the key target is likely a pullback to this 47 and a quarter, maybe even come back down into 41 and chop in this. This is a very, very thin area uh, right here uh, between 47 and 34. And we had a little bit of balance here, the most traded price between the two days. You notice that the breakout day and then the continuation day, the most traded price is not inside of the body of either of those. It's inside of the wicks. So there's a possibility that if we can't hold the 41, and I'm not even thinking today. I'm thinking maybe even tomorrow. Have a pause day today and a pullback day uh, tomorrow, and then we balance out coming into Fed in, in around this 34. Uh, so I'm thinking balance coming into the Fed either in around 47 or in around 34. Um, you know, maybe a little bit of a bigger pullback. There's a lot of repair work uh, to be done. There's a lot of singles. And I want to take a look at this. I don't usually uh, get into the singles in these uh, pre-market uh, uh, sessions, but you can see that we've got uh, a lot of repair work. There's uh, 22.50 right there. And then we get down here into the, you know, we had uh, uh, the breakout day, then the continuation day. There's, you know, there's not as poor structure these two days, but then you get into the breakout day and you look at these distribution zones, 20, around 22, 27, the VPOC. Uh, then you've got a single at 24, a little bit of a distribution zone there, single here at 22, uh, 17, a uh, little bit, I mean, teeny. Uh, distribution zone there, then you've got a distribution zone here. So you have a lot of repair work all the way back down to that breakout day and the naked VPOC that we left behind, okay, by one tick down at 22.02.25. So uh, I don't think that the, uh, the upside is uh, any way, shape, or form done for now, but I'm looking for pause and, and uh, possible pullback uh, you know, depending on, you know, what happens today and tomorrow and then how we react off of the Fed. So pulling up the, uh, the, uh, the Globex, obviously our all-time high, uh, it put in the Globex is at 64. It is our Globex high as well. Then our overnight low is at 49.75, sitting right on top of the VPOC, or value area high, and then we have this LVN and midpoint that I'm going to be watching at 57 and a quarter. This is not our daily ATR. I haven't uh, done that. Let's do that right now. Uh, off of the low, 2249.75, our 20 period ATR is running at 17.14. So our daily upside ATR target is 22.66.75. That does give us room today uh, to possibly go up and uh, take out that all-time high, and it would still be within the 20-period uh, daily uh, ATR. Off of the overnight low at 22.64.75, uh, less the 1714. Our downside daily ATR is the main target below at 22.47.75. How cool is that? Taking this right back to one tick above the uh, the VPOC, and what I consider to be our key line in this, or our key uh, target. Uh, my main trading area is going to be this uh, this 49.75. Uh, take out of the overnight low or a breakout. It's going to be very difficult to trade in here because you're going to get we're going to get an open after putting in new all-time highs, and we're likely to get a lot of rotation here. So you can watch the 25, uh, 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 22.55 and a quarter for push up to the 57 and a quarter midpoint from uh, the overnight. 
Our overnight VPOC is at uh, 5450. It's basically right here at the uh, close. So I'm not expecting uh, reaction. Uh, I'm expecting rotation uh, rather than a ro uh, reaction. And then below that, below the 49, you're targeting the 47. And then uh, there's really not much guidance until we get down to. Uh, really don't need this now, so let me just get rid of this. 41. It's really. I mean, there's not much to give us. Uh, information here. You've got the naked close at 42. You've got the uh, LVN at 41. Uh, I mean, I would use the 40, uh, the 43, not the low, uh, the open and the uh, and the value area low, not the low. I would target anything below that, the naked close and the naked VPOC with a uh, possible resistance or support, I should say, at 41. And then all our levels below that all remain. Uh, the same. And again, I'm not expecting a huge day today. I'm expecting a, 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 a rotational day um, with either an upward uh, skew or downward skew, depending on which side this breaks. Remember, this is a double distribution. If they get below the, uh, the LVN between the double distribution, you've got a high probability of coming down to the price acceptance area down here. And that takes us back to the 47 uh, uh, 50, 47 and a quarter area as our key target. So our main hypothesis for the day, open option, just in range or just out of range. A, uh, I'm looking for a uh, failure to uh, go higher and have a false breakout or a failure to take out the all-time high and rotate back down through, chop in around the 50 area, and then push through to the 47 and chop in the lower distribution with maybe a late day probe down into the 41. Not expecting a big range today. My secondary hypothesis is an open auction in range, a move down, chop around in the, uh, in the 49 area, push through, test down in the 47, and then find responsive buyers uh, down here and start walking us uh, up uh, through the uh, the range and coming up and uh, coming up towards and the main target being the uh, all time high at uh, 64.75 and shopping in up here between the value area high and 64 and just having a rotational day here. My third hypothesis is an open auction a failure to break out and come down immediately into the lower distribution and just chop in here and just go sideways uh, and create a uh, price acceptance around the 4750. And then hypothesis number four is a open auction, uh, immediate failure to break below the 50 area or the 49 area and then push up take out the all-time high and continuation day and targeting the 22.75 uh, up here and uh, closing uh, upwards uh, with new all-time highs. And then the fifth alternative is a take back day and failure to break out, come down, come down, chop in the 47 area and then push through, chop in the 47 area and then fail and come down into this 34 area and chop around and come into tomorrow down here, stuck in these wicks right here. Uh, those are my main hypotheses for the day. Uh, that's going to conclude, com conclude our pre-market session. As always, trade well, trade safe, and catch you on the flip side.